Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Weary Traveler Challenge. Today, um, we're gonna continue the Weary Traveler Challenge. Yep. So if you were not here, uh, during the last episode, we announced a contest. It was an art contest. And let me just say, I, I got a lot to say, so let me begin by saying this. You know, when I did the the story contest, I thought, okay, you know, I'm gonna do the story contest, and I'll get a, a couple of submissions or something, and, you know, whatever, I'll just read a couple, and it'll be easy to choose the winner. No, it wasn't. It was not easy in the slightest, because I got, like, I don't even know how many it was, like 500-something stories? I don't even know. It was ridiculous. And with the art contest, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, with an art contest, it's gonna be really easy, because... You know, I'm just gonna get like a, you know, a couple of good pictures, and then like the majority is gonna be just a bunch of BS pictures, you know, and, you know, it's gonna be really easy to like find the winner and everything. No. <laughs> Not at all. Not in the slightest. Goodness gracious. Calm down, weary ancestor. Hold on. Hold on, everyone calm down. This is really serious. Hold on. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that the amount of talent that you guys have has genuinely blown me away and that's the best way I can say it without getting too corny so let's do these honorable mentions and then we will do or I will announce the winner but instead of doing nine honorable mentions I'm gonna do ten because ten is better because you know because reasons <gasps> oh no hold on everyone calm down hold on picture number one can wait <laughs> picture number one can wait Oh my gosh, these guys, like, you can barely even see them. They're so scary. Go away. Go home. Get out of here. Okay. Anyway, picture number one. Picture number one is by someone named Stay Out. Um, that was their name, Stay Out. And it, it, it looks like this. It is a picture of Nixium and Mukluk and the noob, and they're tormenting him, giving him a hard time. And it's kind of strange talking about the picture when I don't actually, I'm not actually looking at it. So I'm just like remembering it in my head. I like how the noob looks. I like how he looked like, kind of like a dirty beggar. I don't, I don't know. He looks so, he looks so, he looks like a filthy casual. That's the best way to put it. And he even has the word noob on his belt. So I liked it. I thought it was an awesome picture. I like how Nixium looks so like, silly in the picture and Mukluk too so whatever I I like it so it, it, it's 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 an honorable mention and oh cutscene cutscene starting okay cool we did it all right next <laughs> okay so the next honorable mention um I I cannot pronounce this person's name because it was in Russian but the word Anna or the name Anna was included in the email address I think so I'm gonna call you Anna, if that's okay. And Anna drew this picture, as you can see. And it's a picture, hold on, let me look at the little tiny thumbnail. Yeah, it's it's a picture that includes everybody from Nixium, Mukluk, the noob, it has a shot Mcnoscope, it has Grithul the Necromancer, it even has a novel, like the prophet hidden in the background. The, the picture was awesome. I, I thought the picture was amazing. I liked all the different characters in it. Um, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was really cool. And I had to put it on the honorable mentions list because it was really cool. Alright? It's really cool. The next picture comes from Glum, Glum, or Mary. I'm not sure what name the person prefers. Glum or Mary, um, and it was a picture of, it looks like Nixium and Mukluk have been invited to a, a picnic with Anduin, and the level 58 Death Knight, the noob, and Tinkle have kind of crept up and are watching, and needless to say, Nixium does not look too happy in this picture. I think my favorite part is the fact that Nixium has a happy sticker on his Dibley Von Dangly. I mean, that's that's always cool, right? I mean, there's nothing like seeing a big ol' happy sticker on someone's Dibble. Right? 
you know what I'm talking about. I think Anduin stood out to me the most in the picture because he really did kind of look like an immature little annoying kid, which I thought was awesome. And so, what can I say? I, I liked the picture. I mean, what, what can I say? I, I liked the picture. I can't target these orcs. I hate this. This is terrible. I hate this quest. Like, there. I hate this quest. I can't... The next picture comes from somebody named Jazzy, who is a frequent stream viewer. So, hello, my friend. Hello. I know who you are. Um, and Jazzy drew a very interesting picture. Um, it wasn't like the other ones, and so I had to kind of put it on the list because it was so unique. Um, Jazzy drew a picture of uh, Ashvin, the druid, from my videos, the druid, and his partner, Ammonial. And he, let's see, if I remember correctly, um, he said it was drawn and painted on bubbly wallpaper? Bubbly wallpaper, I believe it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got my note. He said it was drawn on bubbly wallpaper, and then he painted it, and it took him about two weeks, and what you can kind of see, I'm picturing it in my head, is on one side you have Ashvin, the druid, and on the other side you have uh, Ammonial, and Ashvin has, you know, he, he's smoking his pipe, and the smoke is coming out, and Ammonial's breath is coming out of her mouth, and the, the symbolism of the picture, he explained, was that these are two characters who are separated by distance and whatnot, uh, yet they still love each other, and so that's why the picture's in two pieces, and you can kind of put them together, and it creates one picture. Um, definitely, probably one of the most interesting pictures I got. Jazzy, I, I mean, I don't know exactly how many hours you spent making this, but I thought it was really cool. Thank you very much. I actually showed it to Ammonial, and she was really touched by it. And so, um, yeah, dude, th thank you for taking the time to make it. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. The next picture was drawn by Ellen, and Ellen drew this very lovely picture of Mukluk. Now, obviously the picture would have been a lot better if it would have been just a picture of Nixium, but I guess Mukluk's okay. I mean, I guess it's, it's alright, drawing a filthy, disgusting, you know, warlock sitting out in Fellwood. But, you know, you know, Glorious Master Race Death Knight would have been better. Just a little artistic critique, you know? As soon as I got this, Ellen, I immediately linked it to Mukluk and was like, Mukluk, check out this awesome picture. Like, the detail is incredible. The lighting is incredible. I love the little imp in the background. Awesome picture, Ellen. Definitely deserved an honorable mention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The next picture comes from someone called Flenya, or Flenja, I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure maybe the J is pronounced as a Y, so Flenya. I don't exactly know what's happening in this picture, I just think it's cool. Like, Nixium is carrying the noob and Mukluk on his shoulders. And both of them look very miserable, and Nixium of course looks happy as shit. And they're like flying through space or something, or... Maybe they're like in some dark cave and he's like escorting them out, like I don't... I don't... I, I read the emails and everything, so I'm sorry if I forgot if you said, like, in your email, like, this is a picture of Nixium doing this, and I'm sorry if, if I forgot, <laughs> um, but, but, it, it, it's an awesome picture, I mean, what can I say, I like the, I like the, the look of the characters, they look very, I don't, I, I just like the kind of cartoony style of it, so, so, my friend, F Flenya, F Flen, F Flenya, or Flenja, Thank you for taking the time to make it. I think it's awesome, and yeah. The next picture comes from Amberan, and Amberam drew this picture of Mukluk and Nixium killing, what is it, uh, Nithog? Nithog? Or Nithog? He's a, he's a world boss in Legion. You'll, you'll kill him eventually. But he's a big electric dragon, and I like this picture because, number one, like, it's got a dragon in it, and dragons are awesome, and you guys know how much I love Beowulf, so it's got a dragon, and Nixium has obviously killed the dragon, because, you know, he's about to go all Beowulf and shit on this dragon, and even though Nixium has done all the hard work, Mukluk is just 
stealing all the gold. All he cares about is the money, and so it's perfect. Nixium is the great, majestic, sexy hero, and Mooclock is just a greedy piece of shit. It was an absolutely perfect picture. Also, Amber was wondering, how does roleplay in WoW work? Pretty much, it's just a simple matter of, uh, you just type your emotes, and, you know, when somebody replies to your emote, you reply to them, and, you know, if you're in a big crowd of people, you kind of just pay attention to the person you're talking to, and if somebody, you kind of got to pay attention to make sure somebody's not, you know, talking about you. So, you know, somebody might say, like, some random person might run up and be like, oh, like, so-and-so does an emote where they come up and bump into Amber, and so you gotta pay attention for that. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I used to roleplay all the time, but... I don't know, it's just something you gotta learn how to do. With experience, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Bill Nilly. Okay. Bill Nilly drew this picture. Alright. Now let me say something to you, Bill Nilly. When I first, like, downloaded the picture, like, I read your email, and you said, like, oh, there's lots of hidden pictures in this picture, see if you can find them. And I was like, ah, uh, like, okay, and I saw, like, Mr. Flowers up in the corner, and I was like, whatever, you know, yeah, Mr. Flowers, you know, that's cute and stuff. And I thought that's what you were talking about. But as I was, as I was going back and looking at the pictures, I looked at this one, and the picture was great. I mean, I instantly knew it was going to make it on the honorable mentions, and for a while I thought it was going to win. Um, but I, I started looking at the picture more closely, and I was like, wait a second. What's that? And I noticed that there was a Charles and Gregory, like, hidden in the corner. And then I saw there was freaking Chris Metzen was hiding underneath the tree. And then I saw B44. B44? Like, really? Like, hidden in there? I just saw, like, all this little hidden stuff, and it was great. It, it's just a great picture, man. I mean, I, I'm i gonna do something with this picture. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna do something with it. I think it's an awesome picture, so... Dude. <laughs> it's great. The next picture... <laughs> comes from Salty Wolf. Salty Wolf, hello. And Salty Wolf drew... Okay, yeah, this way. Salty Wolf drew this. This masterpiece. Now, this picture is obviously one of my favorites because it displays Nixium in his natural habitat, surrounded by many naked females with handcuffs and holding a whip because Nixium is into that kind of stuff. You know? I mean, come on. Like, what do you think I do when I'm not... Or, uh, excuse me, uh, what what do you think Nixium does when he's not in a Machinima video? That's that's what I meant to say. I like how Nixium looks. I think he looks really cool. I like the booties. The booties are nice. It is an awesome picture, though. It is definitely fappable. I like it. I fapped to it. It was great. And it deserves an honorable mention. <laughs> Alright, so the last honorable mention. The last picture is from the Rebel Spy, and check it out. This picture is incredibly good, Rebel Spy. It's incredibly good. You, The lighting is perfect. I like the concept of the ghost of buttholes is following around. Uh, the ghost of buttholes is following around Weary Hunter, and maybe like just, just watching him. I mean, we're stalking him, whatever. I think it looks amazing. It's such a good picture. This picture was going to win. This picture was going to win. I was certain that this picture was going to win for the longest time. But then I got the winning entry, and I'm going to show that off in a second. But the Rebel Spy, it's an incredible picture. I am going to follow you on DeviantArt. I want to see more stuff from you, and I would be absolutely honored to pay you for some commissions in the future because that's a damn good picture and I'm always someone that needs more pictures so Rebel Spy my friend my ally it's an awesome picture so there it is guys 10 honorable mentions but there can only be one winner only one the winning picture is by Red Sinestra, 
and it looks like this. This picture is so damn good that it, it literally blew my mind. I was like, wow, like hot diggity damn. I have no idea how long you spent making this picture, Red Sinestra, but hot diggity damn, like, is it good? You have Nixium and Mukluk and the Noob and Pepe, and they're all fighting the Lich King and the armies of the Scourge. And the Noob is obviously a coward and he's cowering behind Nixium and Mukluk and Nixium looks like a badass. Mukluk looks like a badass. The noob looks like an idiot, which is exactly what he's supposed to look like. Pepe even makes a little sneaking appearance in there, which is cute. You got the Lich King. You got all the undead. This picture is incredible. Like, this is... This is, like, desktop background worthy. I mean, you're, in, you're incredibly talented. Like, I don't even know what to say. You're incredibly talented, but Red, you have won. You are the winner. You get the prize, you get the mounts or the pets, or you get the stuff off the Nixium Machinima store. I'm very happy to buy it for you. It's an incredible picture, but... And what else can I say? What can I say? Look at that picture. It looks fucking awesome. Yeah. Guys, let me just say that the pictures that I got were incredible. Like, narrowing it down to like, like, ten honorable mentions and a winner was pretty difficult. Like, and I'm not just saying that, I'm, I'm being dead serious. Like, it was tough. If your picture, you, you see all these pictures that I'm posting right now? If your picture is on this little collage, and there's there's actually more than this, honestly. There's a lot, but I can't, I can't fit all of them. Um, but if your picture is up here, and there are plenty of other ones as well, but I wanted, I wanted to talk about all these pictures, but I don't want to make like a two hour video of me just saying, of me just saying like, this picture's good, this picture's good, this picture's good, you know? But, guys, like, the pictures were amazing, you guys are awesome, you blew my mind, I, like, you, I don't even know what to say, you guys are awesome, what, what can I say? For anybody that's wondering, I will be doing more contests in the very near future. Um, I'm very happy to do more contests. I don't know what kind of contest I'll do next. We will see. But, um, if you guys have any suggestions, like, by all means, like, feel free to leave them in the comments. I know not everybody is an artist, and I know not everybody is a writer, so I really want to open up the opportunity for a, you know, just the regular old Joe to win. You know, someone that's not a writer or, or an artist or anything. So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to suggest something. Mm-hmm. But it's gotta be like something. It can't be like, oh, leave a comment and then I'm gonna pick like the funniest comment or something. Nothing like that. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll come up with something. But uh, yeah, guys, no, why is he coming after me? Oh my gosh, can you please like hold the aggro? I did it, I, I saved the day. Oh, okay, hold on, I'm not done saving the day. I'm gonna go back and kill myself. What am I doing? All right, I changed my mind. I'm gonna fly away now. Okay, cool. I might have made a very big mistake. Somebody left a comment on the last Weary Traveler challenge video, and they were like, Nixium, why are you playing on a PvP realm? And I read that comment and I was like, what? Like, what's he talking about? I'm not playing on a PvP realm, I'm playing on a normal realm. I'm playing on the same realm as Buttholes. No, I'm not. I fucked up. I accidentally made this character on a PvP realm, and so it's like, shit, <laughs> shit. The challenge is even harder now, because people can come and kill me. So I'm gonna beg you guys, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> but I know you will, but let's see how long I can go before I get ganked. <laughs> Dude, there he is, Malfurion himself. This is the Archdruid of Darnassus right here. So cool. <gasps> Dude, here comes Gen Greymane! Dude, there's Gen! Oh wow, dude, he's the leader of Stormwind. Like, isn't that so cool? And dude, there's Jaina Proudmoore. That dumb bitch. I hate her. Shut up, Arthas. Look how big Gen Greymane is compared to Jaina. Like, can you imagine, like, that big old Dibley going into that Ghibli Ghibli? Like, I mean, he would tear her in half. But maybe she's into that kind of thing. I'm into that kind of thing. So for those of you guys that have still decided to hang out with me and you're continuing to watch, um, 
I guess I can tell you a few things that the people who have left aren't going to hear. Um, for example, I can tell you that I currently am working on a Pokemon video. <laughs> Because everybody's playing Pokemon Go, including me, and I love the game, and I'm making a short Machinima video about it, so you're going to see that pretty soon. Um, my friend Mattias is working on the true story of Deathwing, so he's making that video. Mookluck is working on How to Priest, so he's working on that video. And if you're familiar with Laurentium Pro, uh, he's never made a video for my channel before, but he's working on People of the Alliance. And so this is kind of, yeah, I've given him a, I've given him his own little script, and let's, let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. But yeah, those guys are helping me produce some content. Um, things have gotten kind of busy for me lately, so I've needed to bring on some extra help. That does not mean, however that I have slowed down on my own machinimas, so while they are working on their machinimas, I'm going to be working on mine, and so the reason why I'm telling you this is um, if all goes well, <laughs> if the theory holds, uh, you might be seeing uh, four times the amount of machinima coming out on my channel uh, compared to the usual amount. And for those of you guys that might be kind of concerned, don't worry, all the videos are written by me. Um, it's all my humor, it's my jokes, it's not like I've, you know, given it to someone else and I've said, hey, make this for me or something. So, uh, it's, it's not that. Um, so, but, uh, yeah guys, I'm just really looking forward to the future of the channel and uh, if things go well, I want to do more and more giveaways and stuff and I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, something I just thought about is I need to read the mail because now that I'm out of Gilneas, I can actually read the mail. How many do I got? Oh gosh, one, two. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. We're gonna save that. <laughs> We're gonna save that to the end of the episode. I'll go level one time. I'll get to 14, maybe like 14 and a half, and then I'll come back and I'll read the mail and. The next episode will be more of like a leveling episode, you know? This one's more like contest winners and mail. Sound good? Sound like a plan? Alright, sounds like a plan. I like it. Now I'm kinda- I hope that you guys haven't sent me anything in those letters because I can't take anything. Just like with the Iron Man challenge, I'm not gonna take anything. You know, I still have not caught a Krabby in Pokemon Go. I've looked for a Krabby, but I cannot find one to save my life. <gasps> Look at this! Dark Shore Stag. You know what this means, don't you? It's called it's called skinning. That's what it means. Whoa, this guy hits hard. Whoa. Stay away from me. No, no, don't help me. Oh, fit. okay, that's fine. Dang, dude, that thing hit hard. What level? That thing was only level 12. Whizbang Crank Toggle. What a dumb name. Gnomes. I hate gnomes. They're so stupid. Let's collect these clams for this beautiful lady. That her vagina smells like clams. I just realized, hold on a second, what the fuck are these little things? <gasps> They're little crabs. Why are there little crabs everywhere? They're so cute. Look at the little crabs. I like it. This bear has crabs. All right, so I'm pretty much 14 and a half, so let's just go through this mail. Here we go. I'm sure you understand me, dog, cause you're a worgen and you smell. Goodbye, creepy kiss. But if you die, I have an idea. What about the Berserker challenge? You play a warrior, Fury is better. You are naked, but you can use any weapon from the quest or loot because blah, 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 blah. No heal or Iron Man rules. You have to roleplay as a dumb warrior. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. Keep up the good work, mate. To elaborate on that, instead of the Berserker challenge, it could be the Leonidas challenge where you can only wear boots and a belt and that's it. And then you can use a, you have to play protection. So you use a shield and a sword and you run around and you gotta see how far you can get. That'd be kind of cool. P.S. If you do not make a how-to shaman, I'm gonna burn you alive, loves. Don't worry, my friend, how-to shaman is on the way, but how-to priest first, then how-to shaman. And no, I'm not gonna make a guide for killing pets. Cough. Hozor has an eye on you. Cough. Hozor, don't you be fucking with me. Come over there. Come beat you up. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, for the small black pouch, but... 
but I can't accept anything. Also died of it too when confronting Sylvanas and all the mobs attacked me. Best of luck, Weary Wolf. Dude, that quest was terrifying. You ain't gotta tell me, but I'm glad it didn't bug on me. I'm glad it did not bug. I've sent you a personal dancer. I did not give him a specific name because I thought you could do so. Please take good care of him. P.S. He loves pickles. What is this? <laughs> what pet is this? I've never even seen this pet. You must get him from Day of the Dead. Wait. I like the sound that he makes when you click him. I don't know who you are, read this, but thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's part six. Let's start with part part one. Meat Planet says, fat. Alright. Part two. Fat. Alright. Part three. Fat. Alright. Part four. Fat. Alright. Part five. All of the love in my life is gone. That's because you're fucking fat. Dude, I can't accept any money, but thank you, my friend. Thank you. Can't wait to see the next video. When are the next greatest adventure coming out? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, Mookluck is busy doing his thing. I'm busy doing my thing. Um, we're both streaming now, so I don't know. I can't really give you an ETA, but someday. We'll see. And I can't accept anything. I'm sorry, friend. Alindria. Hello, Nixie. I wish you luck on your challenge. I'm trying myself on this character, too. Before to be more interesting, I will have a pet, but I cannot have ranged weapons as a hunter. Hmm. So once more, good luck. Alavra Whisperwind, one of your subs. That's interesting. So you're playing a melee hunter? What is this, vanilla? Disgusting. I like it, though. I like it. Good luck, my friend. And leveling with you and also stuff like contests and all. But thanks for making a series because I really like them and hope you do well. From me, I guess. Make it my face. Um, I don't know if I'll have any people, like, come on and level with me. Uh, since this isn't the same as The Greatest Adventure. Um, kind of need to focus and pay attention so that I don't die. But, I mean, I don't know. We'll... We'll see what happens, but I'll definitely be doing more contests. Much love from Veridur on Argent Dawn. Veridur, thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much. Melkawama, that one couple I talked about. Accept it. Melkawama, I can't accept one couple. I can't. I can't accept nothing. I'd be breaking the rules. Can't. Why does my mom think I'm a failure? Hashtag feels bad, man. It's because, dude, the reason why your mom thinks you're a failure is because you haven't attempted the Weary Traveler Challenge yet. You gotta, you need to succeed in the Weary Traveler Challenge, dude. Then your mother will accept you. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. I know that I did not do much leveling in this episode, but that's just because the contest winners and... You know, the reading all the mail I had to catch up with, but that's okay. That's all right. I'll continue the challenge itself next week. Um, thank you guys for the art contest submissions. They were incredibly incredible. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. They're awesome. And I'm going to try to use as many of them as I can, whether they were honorable mentions or not, in future videos uh, for sub screens and stuff like that, because... I, 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 I just, I just want to show off your pictures, man. Um, what else can I say? Thank you guys for the mail. Appreciate that. Thank you guys for the support. Um, and w what else can I say? I will see you guys on the next episode of the Weary Traveler Challenge. And hopefully I don't die. Yeah. All right, friends. I will see you then. So until then, see ya.